On December 29, 2012, the temperature in Fuping County, Hebei, had dropped to below minus 10 degrees Celsius. Xi Jinping, General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee, came to this county deep in the Taihang Mountains from Beijing, which is 300 kilometers away. <laughs> Uh,我们现在真正的山村 during this inspection, Xi Jinping pointed out that the most arduous and heavy task facing China in completing the building of a moderately prosperous society in all respects was in the rural areas, especially the poverty-stricken regions. Winning the battle against poverty is a landmark indicator for this noble goal. It's also a key move to resolve the principal contradiction facing Chinese society in the new era. Shaking off poverty and building a prosperous society, this millennium vision of the Chinese nation and its people has been at the heart of the CPC's agenda since it was born. By 2012, China's poverty elimination effort was entering a critical stage, when the most difficult challenges would have to be confronted. At this time, the global economy was slowing down. Widening gaps between the rich and the poor were causing friction in Western societies. China, by contrast, was continuing to work an economic miracle. In the three decades of reform and opening up, it had built the largest number of factories and high-rise buildings in the world and created the biggest middle-income population. Yet, there were still almost 99 million poverty-stricken people in its rural areas. On November 8, 2012, the CPC convened its 18th National Congress, solemnly promising to achieve a moderately prosperous society in all respects by the 100th anniversary of the party's founding. Starting from 2013, Xi Jinping has made it part of his annual routine to embark on his first field trip to inspect poverty alleviation work. Since the 18th National Congress of the CPC, Xi Jinping, as leader of the people, has shown great sentiment and dedication to this effort. Shiba Dong Village is a remote Miao community in the Wuling Mountains. On November the 3rd, 2013, during his trip to inspect Hunan province, Xi Jinping for the first time used the phrase targeted poverty alleviation when talking with Shiba Dong villagers. The idea of targeted poverty alleviation is to tailor relief measures to local conditions and find effective and sustainable ways of tackling poverty. In line with this approach, China's poverty elimination battle was launched across the entire nation. 
A central tool in the effort was a National Poverty Alleviation Information System, in which every confirmed poor family nationwide was registered. With a simple mouse click, details of those who were eager to shake off poverty could be brought up on screen. In November 2015, China's Central Poverty Alleviation and Development Work Conference outlined the so-called two no worries and three guarantees goal of poverty alleviation and defined the five-pronged poverty alleviation measures in order to help identify high-quality solutions for eradicating poverty in an all-round way. Dersheng village in the highlands of Hebei used to be well known for its poverty. When details were gathered for the central information system in 2013, almost half of its households were registered as poverty-stricken. The climate is arid and dry here, and the land is barren. One resource the village has in abundance, however, is an all-year-round supply of sunlight. Making use of its natural advantage, it has pursued the development of a solar photovoltaic industry as its path out of poverty. In 2017, two small photovoltaic power stations were built, followed by an innovative program to plant medicinal herbs underneath the solar panels. A stable income has been generated by this combined approach. In line with the requirements of targeted poverty alleviation, after four years of hard work, China dramatically reduced the number of people living in poverty from 98.99 million in 2012 to 43.35 million in 2016. International experience has shown that poverty alleviation enters its most difficult stage when about 3% of the total population remains in poverty. On February 21st, 2017, right after China's traditional Lantern Festival, the Political Bureau of the CPC Central Committee conducted a group study session in Zhongnanhai, Beijing. In February 2018, after a drive of more than two hours, Xi Jinping entered the depths of southwestern China's Daliang Mountains, where the Yi ethnic group live. He visited homes of impoverished Yi people here, discussing targeted measures with local cadres and villagers. The three regions and the three prefectures, the most challenging objective in the campaign against poverty, holds the key to the building of a moderately prosperous society in all respects. In 2018, China entered the final stage of the battle. The rural poor population had fallen to 16.6 million. But before final victory could be declared, the last mile on the long march to eradicate poverty had to be completed. It was in this year the Du Long people, an ethnic group living in the Nujiang Nisu Autonomous Prefecture in Yunnan, entirely eliminated poverty. In recognition, the town party committee wrote a letter to Xi Jinping to report the good news.
In his reply, she congratulated the Dulong people on their achievements and encouraged them to unite their efforts to strive for an even better life. Bearing Xi's advice in mind, they were to keep learning skills, changing ideas, strengthening infrastructure construction and developing industries. They have shown greater vigor and inspiration in their fight against poverty. Abu Luoha was the last village in China accessible via a paved road. The route there ran along cliffs and ravines. Falling rocks on landslides had often destroyed machinery and interrupted construction. On November 30, 2019, a helicopter appeared over the village. Within eight days, it had shipped in the heavy construction machinery needed for the project. Today, this village hidden deep in the mountains can now be accessed by paved roads and bus services. It's also started welcoming visitors from outside. In the past eight years, to guarantee access and infrastructure connections, China has focused on improving transportation in poor areas. It has renovated 15,000 damaged rural bridges, laid 1.1 million kilometers of rural roads, and added 35,000 kilometers of railway. As a key measure for poverty alleviation, a large number of cadres were deployed to station in poor villages. Zhang Haichuan was among the first batch of such cadres. He arrived in Jiaxue village in Qi'an Dongnan Miao and Dong Autonomous Prefecture, Guizhou Province in 2016. When not building schools, roads or houses, this young official from Beijing taught himself to be an agricultural expert by growing melons, mushrooms and dragon fruit. The villagers worked hard to eliminate poverty under his leadership and achieved remarkable results. When his assigned term expired, they wrote a letter of petition calling for him to stay on. Their affection persuaded Jiang to remain in the village for another two years. More than 1,000 days of hard work have brought profound changes to Jiaxue village. The local economy has experienced impressive growth. The children have better schools with new canteens and new quilts. Jiang, however, feels sorry for spending so little time with his daughter. After the 18th CPC National Congress, a total of over 3 million first secretaries and cadres left for the frontiers in the National War on Poverty, working in 128,000 impoverished villages nationwide.
，我认定了事情，我必须要把它干好。你脚上长有多少泥土，心中就会沉淀多少真情。搭上这个独立融合的快车，也跟着发展。有的贫户日子过好了，好安逸，是吧？<笑>在十二月十六日，悲剧消息传来自白泥村的古城的东北角。黄光秀，第一个部长所在这里，被烧得一塌糊涂。她开车在雨中开往家中，她只有三十岁。在这个时候，她的父母When Huang was working in Bai Ni Village as first secretary, the village poverty rate fell from 22.88% to 2.71%, and 418 people in 88 households were lifted out of poverty. Huang's father still remembers the conversation he had with his daughter when she was about to graduate with a master degree from Beijing Normal University. 因为你入了党，你当然为为党工作，为了家乡来。因为我们的家乡期待你，我们的家里面好不容易才有一个党员。你要为党的工作到最困难呃地方，人的生命价值用得好，高于一切。Huang Wangxiao was posthumously honored by the CPC Central Committee as a National Outstanding CPC Member. Fighting against poverty is a war without gunpowder. Over the past eight years, over 1,800 cadres like Huang Wangxiao have laid down their lives in this fight, a vivid illustration of their grasp of the original aspiration and mission standing behind the CPC's great cause. In early spring 2018, an important discussion was held in Chengdu, Sichuan. General Secretary Xi Jinping met with party secretaries at the five administrative levels from provinces, municipalities, counties, townships and villages in impoverished areas to share experiences, problems and solutions. One of the CPC's great sources of strength is its robust and rigorous organizational system. It's a powerful advantage enjoyed by no other political party in the world. Through letters of responsibility, local party and government leaders make pledges to the party's top leadership. Thanks to the support of this organizational system and the help it gives to CPC secretaries of all levels, the fight against poverty has achieved one victory after another. Sambao Township in Chuanxinan, Buyi, and Miao Autonomous Prefecture, Guizhou Province, lies in a vast area of rocky wilderness, characterized by a cold mountain climate and fragmented barren terrain. With little arable land to feed the local population, the provincial leadership decided to relocate the whole township to save its next generation from poverty. Can 
During China's 13th five-year plan from 2016 to 2020, a total of 338,500 people in Quanxinan moved out of impoverished mountain areas and into new homes. To make it easier for people to resettle and become more prosperous, the prefecture government implemented the New Citizen Initiative, a comprehensive package facilitating the transition to new homes and the beginning of new, better lives. In this way, over the past eight years, more than 9.6 million people nationwide have moved out of remote and impoverished areas and into new neighborhoods and new lives. Under the leadership of the CPC, units of government, society, commerce and other entities have been united for the nation's all-encompassing campaign against poverty. Consequently, rural areas have been revitalized in the pursuit of shared prosperity. On November 23, 2020, Guizhou announced that its last nine impoverished counties had eliminated absolute poverty marking China's complete success in lifting all impoverished counties out of poverty. Yay! This is a great feat in the history of poverty reduction. China has achieved its 2030 Sustainable Development Goals target of poverty eradication, announced by the UN in 2015, 10 years ahead of schedule. Praise for this amazing achievement has arrived from all quarters. And I'd like to um, add my voice to everyone else in expressing sincere congratulations uh, to the government of China for this really quite uh, amazing and historic achievement. And I think um, the lesson for everybody is that um, eradicating poverty is not some kind of utopian dream. It's something which is achievable. On February 25, 2021, the National Poverty Alleviation Summary and Commendation Conference was held in the Great Hall of the People in Beijing to mark the fulfillment of the CPC's solemn promise to history and the Chinese people. China's struggle against poverty has forged a poverty alleviation spirit, a spirit of pulling together, exerting all our strength, being precise and results-oriented, breaking new ground, braving challenges and living up to the people's expectations. Chenbu 这是中国人民的伟大光荣，这是中国共产党的伟大光荣，是中华民族的伟大光荣。
从长夜到日出，走过千山万水的路，每一步都是信仰足迹。烙印下心中过半途。从贫弱到富强，走出复兴，为业征途。每一天都有奋斗牺牲，只为人民拥抱幸福。一生。